This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6. It reads through the Holy Scriptures. And thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquakes and great storms and tempests and the flames of the fiery fire. Shalom, first and foremost, uh, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Mokarpadash. Double honors to the elders for a priestess word, truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the occupants scattered the four corners of the world, preaching the word, truthfully and sincerely. I say shalom to you, occupants out there. And this is a uh, recent news article from uh, MSN.com uh, from WBNS Columbus of Ohio. And it reads, oh, Salakia. This was uh, published by Tim, Tim TV web staff uh, seven hours ago, and it reads, NWS uh, confirms four tornadoes touched down in Ohio. After a strong low pressure system moved through parts of Ohio on Monday, the National Weather Service confirmed that four tornadoes touched down in the state. And this is an actual uh, drone footage, fo photo, I mean video, showing the aftermath of the uh, tornado. So as you as you see that uh, two second and forty, I believe two minute and forty second clip of a uh, raw video of a drone uh, video footage. So the Central Ohio tornado damaged the whole region in that area, and it got hit by uh, four tornadoes. And I'm gonna read it again. It says uh, after a strong, long pressure system moved through parts of Ohio on Monday, the National Weather Service confirmed that four tornadoes touched down in the state. It says Monday storm prompted several tornadoes and several thunderstorm warnings with winds gusts between 45 to 60 miles per hour reported. New New Chesley. In Middletown, each has an EF1 tornado touchdown, meaning that winds were between 86 to 110 miles per hour. Eton and Orton, Orton, if I pronounce those right, both had a touchdown. I mean, both had a uh, tornado that measures the EF0. Uh, with wind speeds between 65 and 80 miles per hour, while the tornado uh, that landed in the Pickaway County just after 4 p.m. was a EF-0. Its maximum estimate 
winds goes up to 85 uh, miles per hour during its two minutes on the ground. The tornado with the Fox Lair Mobile Home Park, where many residents are now working to save uh, what's left of their homes. And at least two homes in a mobile home community in a pick, pick wave uh, county flip due to strong winds. In uh, Inta, the tornado reached an estimate maximum winds of uh, 75 miles per hour. It touched down just after 4.40 p.m. along uh, Watts, Watkins uh, Road southwest and was only on the ground for a brief period of time. The NWS reports that most of the damage in the uh, Lickland County was done to trees. The tornadoes in Middletown were first touched down around 2.35 p.m. near the intersection of the uh, Jacksburg, Jacksonburg, I meant to say, Road and Oxford Middleton Road, where several houses in the area were reportedly minor damage. And it says, according to the NWS, the heaviest damage occurred in Elk Creek Road, where a house had its roof removed. The W, I mean, NWS reported that this could have been when the tornado was at its maximum intensity with wind speed of 110 miles per hour. In New Crossley, a tornado estimated to have touched down at 319 at a residence of Irish Peak Pike. The sliding of the house was ripped off and a softwood tree was uprooted according to the NWS. It says the tornado continues to travel through fields until it reached another property where it destroyed a barn completely additional. Homes were impacted by the tornado, each received minor damage, and its strongest the tornado in Clark County reached uh, maximum winds to 90 to 95 miles per hour. And this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6, through the Holy Scriptures, and it reads once again. And thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquakes and great noise and storms and tempests and the flames and devouring fire. This is a uh, second Ezra. Second Ezra, chapter nine, verse two. Then thou shalt understand it is a very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Second Ezra 93. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars in the people of the world. Right, so we've seen a definitely uh, increasing of these tornadoes, these uh, heavy floodings, these increasing uh, earthquakes in diverse places. So this is the Heavenly Father Yahweh. The highest, which is the Heavenly Father Yahweh, is visiting this place with these uh, weather-like conditions, you know. So it has nothing to it has nothing to do with climate change or the change of climate or Mother Nature. It's the will of the power of the Heavenly Father is visiting this earth with these weather-like conditions. So with that, uh, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem El Shaf Bashem Uh Double honors to the elders for preaching His word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say Shalom.